Hello and welcome back to D&D with High School Students. We are at the table here with the full crew. Let's introduce who they are and who they're playing. To my left is the side of three people, starting with you, Harris. Who are you and who are you playing? I'm Harris. Um, I'm playing Flo I'm playing Florin Rose. He's a, he's a real chill there, guy. And he's a troll barbarian. No. Uh, he's, he's a satyr monk. A satyr monk. I was so... That wasn't even close. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Um, next up is Shannon. Hi, I'm Shannon. I'm playing a uh, eloquence bard named Sebastian Salinkiu. Mm -hmm. It's a very uh, interesting fellow. Always likes to hear a good story. Yes, yes indeed. And then to your left, Josh. I am playing Occam, uh, a totem barbarian who is desperately looking for his lost, lost child, his baby boy. <laughs> and not just any kind so of sad. totem barbarian, he's a Leonin, yes. a lion person man. Ish. All right, then across the table, um, Ellen, who are you playing? Hello, I'm Ellen. I'm playing Winifred Birch, um, Cider Grave Cleric, who's also looking for her boy. He is lost. He is sick and he is hungry. We gotta get him back. <coughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess if you. Congrats, this is your main plot. Now. Yeah, if you if you have like a wild, chaotic, evil creature. But you want to tame that creature, and and you want to adopt him, then okay, all right. I mean, it this this actually is Camino, so anything is possible. All right. Last but not least, Cat, who are you playing? I'm uh, I'm Cat. I'm playing Lark Othello. She's a human warlock. Indeed. All right. So you uh, you mentioned in the last episode, you guys had to uh, you had to run away, didn't you? We did. What did you run away from? A ghost. A ghost. It's a ghost with like a flower in it. So yeah. Ghost. Josh, was it any specific it kind of ghost? It was most certainly a specific ghost. It was the ghost of a zombie I think I killed. Didn't we, didn't we get rid of that And we solo? sacrificed the, the zombie to resurrect Vermont. Vermont. Our boy. Your Our boy. boy. Yes. That famous Vermont. Right. All right. Yes. That's true. But in the process of running away from fleeing from this incorporeal threat, your boy got left behind. Left Don't behind. Say it. Don't say it. No. Um, <laughs> now, some of you are, are relatively savvy with survival in nature, and you figured out that you are still in the great wooded valley that runs along the mountains. But you are quite a ways north of where you were last. So, we pick up with that. You, you awaken from your, your fatigue. Um, does anybody... Did you all take a long rest? We did. Yeah. Because we left off last session with the start of last session. Right. So we just fought the rock creature. Yes, that's right. And so, and I punched yes. It. Yes. And so you fought the rock creature. I forgot that I experimented with nonlinear storytelling last session. So that was the thing. Um, okay. So, yeah, you guys just fought the strange rock creature. Did anyone. Examine that strange rock creature. Yeah, we learned it was, it was an element. We learned it yeah. was an elemental, I think. Yes, you have a hunch that it is not native to the main continent. I'll say that. I did also pick up a shard of it and tied it around my waist. Good. So you have some evidence of it. All right. So you also um, original quest, maybe side quest now. Who knows? You also have um, a list of ingredients. You were collecting things uh, for the renowned herbalist Votano, the, the furbold herbalist in Ohiro. Um, you do have a, a crude map that he provided with rough uh, estimates of where you could find these specific things. And um, some of them are flora, like flowers and, and leaves and, and a specific kind of bark. Uh, some of them are root-based and some of them are fungi. Uh, but you're, you figure out that you're pretty close to one of the ingredients. Um, it, it would require a little bit of travel and kind of navigating where you are in the valley, but you believe that there's a stream that runs down from the mountains through this part of the valley, through the wooded area. And is it the same stream we cross, cross prior? No, this okay, is way stream. north of where you guys were before. Awesome. There are a lot of streams that, you know, it's snow melt basically. Yeah. Um, so, but this, this would get you pretty close to this specific kind of tree. Um, the tree's bark 
is what he's looking for, a large sampling of that bark, uh, which can be used in a concentrated form for a number of different things. Did he mention anything about like the property of the bark? Does it have to be fresh? Can it be old? Um, it, it has to be fresh because if, if yeah. it's not like brought back within 72 hours, it, it loses its potency basically. Yeah. That one last, maybe. Um, so, and then the other thing is there's actually another ingredient that is up in the mountains. Um, and this is a plant that grows in a very, very rocky area, kind of like one of those sad little plants that like grows out of like a crack in the rocks in like a very, very sparse sort of setting. Um, but it's actually the root of that plant that is needed, not the plant itself. But you know, you have like a description of what it looks like and, and kind of like a sketch. Um, and that one's in the mountains? Yes. So you could go northwest or due west into the mountains um, to look for the root plant, or you can um, continue in the woodlands um, if you and are interested in acquiring some of the bark. And Vermont the, uh, had mentioned a cave that we were supposed to meet. We need to meet him in a cave by the big mountain tomorrow night. I He's forgot that you use sending, which <laughs> also breaks all games of Dungeons and Dragons, but it's, I, I, I do love that spell. You use the sending spell, which transcends language, which is also mm -hmm. a move because um, the creatures uh, are, are not the brightest bulbs in the bunch. Mm -hmm. So good job. He did mention a cave. And what did he tell you about that cave in his sending? about it being... Big creatures, I believe? Big creatures. It was on the mountains. I don't remember the exact direction, but there was big. large creatures. He Up was hungry. Big creatures. He's hungry. We have to go get him. Yeah. Uh, also, was that, there, um, like, a oracle? Yeah, oracle. That was up yeah. in the mountains as well? Mm -hmm. You guys. Yeah. So, Sebastian and Florian had heard about the this oracle. Um, and that, that could be within, like, this day's travel. Um, you would need to kind of make your way to the mountains to get a better sense of where you are exactly. Then you can kind of figure out how far that, that journey would be. All right then, uh, so fellas, I think, Sebastian, are we still, we're still looking for the oracle, right? Yes, so yes the, we the are. The whole story thing? We're still looking for oh. the oracle. Um, I think, do we want to just, you know, go up to the mountains? See, I, I think the mountains are the play. Our best interest to... Yes. Isn't there a dragon up there? Yeah, it's fine. Maybe, kind of. I I'm think down. it's in the mountain. I'm down with finding a dragon. I do not think we can fight it, but if we can avoid it, then I want to talk to him. Do you guys want to talk to him? I don't. I could speak. I could, I could say like a couple words. I mean, dra 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 dragons are smart, ain't they? Yeah, they are. I just don't know if it's like a strategy. I, I think it's in the mountain. I don't think it should be a problem. Oh, I seen that? Yeah, it wasn't like in a, in a big mountain somewhere else, and then it was coming towards our hero. Right. Uh, I, yes. I got it. I, I, I think, well, me, me and Sebastian, we gotta go find the Oracle person. You're looking for Ramon? A cave, yeah. Uh, and we're also looking for the, a, a, a flower. Yeah. We, yeah, the root. The root, yeah. Yeah, so we, we can hit like three things at once if we just go up the mountain, I feel like. I feel like if we don't go up the mountain, then Ramon's gonna be... Don't, don't say it. Hung, hungry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to we'll go. You know, get, the, Listen, get this whole just, story yeah, along. We're going. Right? All right. All right. He'll be fine. Is the creature really necessary? Yes. yes. Why do you care so much about it? It's He's just going to use up food. He's little. I am not going to use. It's not going to use up food, particularly because we are going to hunt together. He's pretty cool. We are the ones getting your food. Oh, hunting? Yes. Hunting is pretty fun. Last time I went hunting, I got chased by some real big cats. I had big cats? cats. <laughs> yes, How devil. Uh, like me? They were like. Did you just chase? Do you describe? The I described the death you, cats. You, yeah, so you know that the, that they're the slang for them is devil cats. Devil cats. Yeah, devil cats. Can I make a check to further un, further explore that knowledge yes. of devil cats? Yes. I'm trying to decide. Would this be nature? A nature check would identify certain types of flora know. and fauna. All right, you know what? You you actually know the proper name of these creatures. 13. They are called the Paprocki. They um, 
They are supremely adept at climbing. They're climbing cats, but they're big, like tiger big, but they're really good at climbing mountains and trees. Um, they're very stealthy. They usually hunt in packs. Um, they're Pack size? Mm, smaller. Are we talking like two to three or like, like a dozen? To your knowledge, maybe like six would be a okay. pack. Um, they are exclusively carnivores. Okay. Well, uh, I, I, I met two of them. I tried talking to them. The very, the you night. met more than two. I met No, I met two. You saw two. Mm, yes, correct. Actually, no, I didn't see one. I only saw one I had the other. But uh, I, I talked to one of them, not the nicest. They, they wrecked my bag, which is why I'm making this basket here. Uh, and he, hold, basket. he holds up the basket that he's been working on. The, you see, like, um, basically imagine like a basket, but it's like the size of a dice tray, and it doesn't have the full sides yet. Yeah, it's, 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 it's So it could normal. hold a thing, but it wouldn't really... It's a working problem. I'm, yes. I'm walking, I'm, you know, I'm walking, I'm walking. No, it's a basket. I put my things in it. It could be a hat. It could be a hat. Can I? <laughs> he wouldn't have oh, sure. anything to carry his items. Oh, yeah. How do I look? It might get caught, in, nice. it might get caught in the whole fur thing. Yeah. I, believe me, I tried. It doesn't look well, Put it on your head. You'll get a hat later, all right? He, he like, takes it off carefully. <laughs> you people. Uh, anyway, I outran two of the devil cats on foot. Pass me that green pencil. Huh? And I then outran two of the devil cats on foot. I need to know what everyone's passive perceptions are. <laughs> um, Lark, what's your passive perception? 12. Oh, yay. Um, and how about Winnie? 16. Ooh, that's, that's very, uh, all right. Efficiency. Good. Occam? 14. 14. Sebastian? Uh, 15. 15. Wow, you guys are like very perceptive. Uh, Florian? 13. 13. Okay. No one, no one is mediocre. Huh? Um, as you guys are having this discussion, Lark, did you say yours is 12? Twelve. Okay, I'm sorry. My two looked like a seven. I was like seventeen. <laughs> wow. Um, Winnie, you yeah. catch you catch a strange little sound, like as you guys are kind of in the trees having this discussion, mm -hmm. not too far away. It's like the sound of like a little bit of like water, like a babbling brook sort of thing. What languages do you speak? I speak common, Yeoman, and Sylvan. The ghosts are back. Oh, I come know. on! No, okay, not like the, not the scary ghosts, oh. but like you know, just like the talking ones that we found earlier. Uh, ghost? You ghost? You found oh. ghost. Did you ghost. say ghost? You hear a voice. Oh, hi! It Who is. Are you? If you speak or understand Sylvan, hey, I know this. It's, yeah. Then you understand. Don't like that. If you don't, you hear. Hey, man. But ah. it, the, the, in the Sylvan, it's like ghost. Did you say ghost? Well, and it I mean, seems to come from sorry. like in the direction of the of the babbling brook. Hey, are you trying to get into my head again? Is you your, understand that name? insanity? Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Is your How's name it going? Brook babbling. <laughs> don't do the. <laughs> don't you, Doctor Evil me? <laughs> um. There's no response to that question. Do you ask that question? No, in that's Sylvan? that's that's me. Okay. Um. Hey. There's no response to your questions either. Want a flower? I'm saying this in Sylvan. Um, the voice does respond to that. You should be very careful about what flowers you pick. I don't pick them. They come out of my hair. Do you know where my son is? He's lost and I need to find him. Come to the, come to the river. Yeah, then. Which way is Can the voice coming from? Know. Towards the mountains? <coughs> towards the, the, the babbling yes. brook, Sebastian. towards the river. Sebastian, are, so, are we being, not are we being the distrust in no. here? Is that what you're going to Sorry, I, I have to I go. I can't understand. We have to go. Oh, we right. have to dip. We have to uh, go. Unless you have something to make me allow oh, we, Hey, what's your name? Yeah. Mr. Ghost? Mrs. Ghost? Siva. That doesn't really... Uh, that's not Babbling Brook, not what I was expecting. How, how would Ellen spell that in her notes? Siva. Siva. When she says Siva, everybody hears Siva. Siva. Mr. Ellen. And it kind of echoes through the woods. 
May I roll an insight check of some kind to determine the general Dexter? intention of this? Mod, like, mod what, re whether malicious or benef or like... Yes. Can you determine intent simply through a voice? I will allow that. Okay. Game on. Uh, I also roll a bot check. Sure. That's my insight. Oh, you made good. insight. That's a 18. There's a part of you that feels like this could be a trap. But there's also another part of you that sees no reason why this would be a trap. Sounds good to me. Let's go. Wait, but we are the mountains. It's the other oh, way. Oh, right. But we're busy. We, we have should to, just we go have to the mountains. We might come back here. When you said that, did you say that in common? Or did you say Sylvan. that in Sylvan, the thing about well, the mountains? Who, did everyone here speak common or, uh, Sylvan or nah, no? No, I speak common. Sylvan. Then. Oh, Sebastian. Uh, I'm sorry. Sebastian. Yeah, the only person Sylvan, that actually. doesn't speak okay. in Sylvan. What Sebastian. do you seek in the mountain? A lot of stuff. Our boy is missing. We gotta go get him. We're looking for, yeah, him. Uh, His name's the Make perception cool. checks. Everybody who's within a 10 foot radius. That's a nat 1 plus 3. 16. Exactly my password, 14. <clears throat> That's a nat 20. Plus hey. 10. Oh, a 16. Um, you know when you like spill uh, water onto like dry ground, how it kind of like starts to run. You notice that there's like a little pool of water kind of coming out from some bushes and it's kind of running sort of diagonally across the ground. I don't trust this. About 10 feet away from you. Mm -mm. I don't trust this, uh, let's move. That's just what? There's a weird puddle in the ground. I Where? I think see the lady's trying to like, I will and say hi, but no, I think she's trying to maybe attack us. Yeah, in yeah, Sylvan, probably. you hear this phrase. Child. But how can the Leonin and the satyr spawn? This is not it's possible. It's an adoption. Yeah. What kind of child is it that you see? In Vermont. Let's go. Yeah, let's, nice. go. let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, okay. let's, so, go. Sorry, let's go. Sorry, sorry, Siva. We have to go. Are you sure uh, you haven't seen know. my, they my don't child? Know. I don't think they've seen I them have all. seen children. Uh, I'm not yay tall. I'm, I'm going to grab <laughs> off of <laughs> him. So you roll the nat 20. I'm going to tell you what you see. Mm -hmm. Your sense is, is that that little trickle of water is somehow... Um, animated slash a manifestation of this entity and it, it curls around to like it stops traveling it kind of curls around and forms a little pool and you notice like the the occasional bit of light that that comes through the canopy of the woods sort of flickers off of this little pool but it moves almost like an eyeball would move if it was looking back and forth between people and like as they're talking the the glint moves between them uh, I'm so, I'm sorry, see the I think we gotta go 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 out of here. So here, uh, Florence gonna take a, a dandelion out of his out of his hair. He's gonna put it on the ground. And, and this is one of the ones that grows out of your hair. Yes. All right. You when you do that, you the pool of water yourself? the pool of water goes it's over not, to. I I, they grow back. The pool of water goes over to the dandelion, and and you, it, the water kind of like, glues the dandelion to the ground. And you hear, thank you for your gift. See, kindness is always the right answer. Let's go to the mountains. Let's go find <laughs> Vermont and some flowers. All right, yes, yep. yes. Let us we go find leaving. the child. Yes. I went well. <laughs> you, you proceed towards the mountains. Um, it is, it's an uneventful two-hour walk. Awesome. I love an event two hour walk. I'm, I'm just kidding. There's <laughs> ogres. No, I am just kidding. There aren't ogres. It's an uneventful two hour walk, but you do find yourselves emerging from that dense old wood of the valley, and you're kind of back in that sparse sort of wood that's along the perimeter of the mountains. And you see, as these, these kind of hilly areas start to rise up towards the mountains, you see you kind of come through this clearing, and you see the mountains rising up. And there, there are rocks that jut out, and there's, I, I'm going to even say you see some, like, mountain goats, like, 100 feet up, grazing on some, um, some like, grassy area that grows along the side of a mountain. Florian's trying to weave we his basket food? as they're walking. Do we need food? Do we need food? I'm I not, think we have rations. Yeah, but I'd, 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 like, I'd like to not expend the rations, you know? It'd be nice to have some mm. fresh. 
food if you, I, I guess, you know what that means. Where's the closest mountain goat? I mean, those might be distant cousins, um, line, but at this point... About 100 feet up from you guys, there, there are like three mountains. Oh, up? Yeah, up. Okay. And like, you can see Oh, them. yeah, because we're, we're going up? Yeah, you're, so basically you're at the foot of the first layer of the mountains. Watch this, I'm gonna... <laughs> oh, you want me to go for... You wait, go for wait, wait, hold on. Uh, before they, like, actually step out of the forest and begin, and before, before Occam does, He's going to place a little mark where they entered the forest, or exited the forest, with, with the, uh, what? the heel of his uh, axe, and more intricate details with his claw. Okay. On um, a stone, on a on tree, the ground. on the ground. Oh, okay, good. You do. We learned our lesson last time with stabbing trees. No, definitely. You want me to run at the goal? I can. Yeah. I can make it there. Yeah, if you, if you can grab the goat and throw it down to me, well, it, I can I can make it I can, can make it, but it? I can't grab it. <laughs> Why don't we just have Florian go what is hunt for us? If you just kind of no, I'll catch it. Seems more efficient. Okay, for... Well, if you catch a goat, I can outrun it's most gonna, predators. It's gonna be a difference of like six feet. I can hold it ten feet out from me. Okay. I'm not I sure. Mean, like you the air? No, I would it? like to see that. All of you like people that, that have a fifteen or higher <laughs> passive perception, you you notice that the goats are like eating still but they're like they've turned and they're like looking down at you guys like they're just watching you with stupid curiosity hey there friend hello meh don't get what me maybe too maybe we shouldn't just try knock them off the I'll grab it trust me I, I, if i make it there i can't knock them off at the same time you sure let's try i'm uh spending a wait keyboard. wait wait <laughs> i can throw you Oh, give you a bit of a boost. Earlier. It's a lot of fun. Can you throw me? I can give you a boost, yeah. That's good, I can. Let's go. Is this going to be an assist so he gets advantage? Basketball special. Basketball uh, special. It's going to be, I'm going to try to throw him up as far as he can so he can use his normal movement to get up to the goats and kick a few down to catch. Okay, so what does this power uh, allow you to do? What, mine? Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, I was going to spend the key point to dash as a bonus action, so I can dash as an action as well and move 120 feet in one turn. Uh, is it 120? Is that a, uh, it's not 120. Is it's that impacted than. by your vertical movement? Do you have uh, a climb speed, don't you? I do or, not have a climb speed. No. I'm just. Oh, I'm speed. just good at climbing. Well, well, yeah, it's, so I'll say this. Is this like? Is, you're is not this using like any rock? climbing. Yeah, you're oh. not using. I mean, there there are like cracks and crevices that you can get handholds on. But basically, you're trying to speed climb with no ropes or climbing gear, Have right? Have you seen those photos of goats, It's though, how it's how like how 89 degrees. Okay, yeah. how, high are the, how high are the goats up? 100 feet? Yeah. Wait, can you climb? Uh, yeah, very well. Are you sure? Let's get a little bit closer first, though, because I'm, I'm faster runner than climbing. I have climbing gear. Um, if I fall off, I I'll be like, no. I if can, I fall off, I'll be fine. I could literally just hit one of those right now. Oh, can you do that, I then. Mean, do we really need to? Yes. Yeah, I mean, we need food. We need food. We could just go look for some deer. Yeah. I think we're spending too much time on this. We Why need don't... food. Guiding bolt at one of the deer. I'm sniping <laughs> it. Flor Florian is meh. <laughs> you shoot people. Can I jump to catch it? it um, falls. Sure, make an athletics check. I'll rage for this. I love dun, 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 dun. Are you so sure, sorry. Josh, that you want to rage to, t to catch a goat? I have two more rages today. Okay, all right, fair enough. <laughs> Listen, we're good at D&D, but that we're not good at That is going to be a 23. He just screams that is a as success. he grabs it. As the goat uh, that just got bolted um, tumbles and, and basically hits the rocks a few times, you, you catch it before it splatters. Mm -hmm. hey, good it's a job. pretty long drop. Yeah! Ooh, hey. It's dead on arrival. Like, ready, ready for... Now that's what they Do call fast food. Do any of us food. have like any sharp weaponry? Cause I don't. Oh man! Nice. I have a gun. sword. Man. I have a rapier. Sorry there. about that. When you look up to say sorry about that, um, you only see one other goat. Was there three before? Yeah, there were three. Now there's only one, one that's looking gone. down at you, going, "Man, oh. one of the goats are Look behind us for the other. Can I look around? And just yeah, like sure. A general perception check. check. Are you? Oh, Got it. I'm not. Florence not rolling. Not twenty. Uh, uh. Well done. 15. 24? 18. Okay, so everybody who has over a 20. I should roll. You see... That's six. Not directly above you from 100 feet away, but about 60 feet away and still above you, you see a figure 
a large, bulky, strong looking figure with like a humanoid body, okay? Uh, no clothes, um, but fur, kind of like you have, but not with the head of a lion, with the head of a goat with horns. And it's climbing down the mountain, down the rocky cliff face, towards you guys, upside down. Like head first. Go man. Good. Roll man. initiative. <laughs> oh uh, go, no. We shouldn't Pardon. have done this. Uh, twenty three on initiative. Mr. Alan, twenty. You won't believe this. <laughs> you guys it's another twenty. You simply won. I also I, rolled I, a twenty. I do believe it. Ooh, I, I, really Josh, I believe your dice are hot. That's I've in Vegas they call that hot. Josh, if you've been on the internet, you know people simp over goat man. All right. Um, goat man. So let's man see. Lark bridge. has an eighteen. I simp over the man at the bridge. Um, uh, Winnie? I got a 21. 21, all right. Oh, Mike Fee. Uh, come. Uh, it's gonna be a 21, or not 20. 21. Um, Sebastian. I got a 17. 17, and Florian. Nat 20, 23. Okay, well, you notice this frightening, uh, large muscled, uh, humanoid man body who's climbing down, down upside down basically running towards you down a mountain with the head of a goat coming at you very quickly you're up so how high is he on the mountain mm, he is now about 60 feet away from you 60 feet up and 60 feet over so using math everyone that is the hypotenuse that's how you now calculate the Pythagorean that theory. <laughs> yes uh, Pythongrean? What's like a Pythagorean? No, what's like a, a D and D version? Pythongrean. Oh. What? Pythongrean theorem. I'm okay. So. Uh, Haldorian. I'm trying. I'm gonna be trying to uh, climb up the mountain a bit. Try to get to him, or at least get closer. Uh, how far do you think? I, I don't have any climbing speed. I'm just gonna be trying to like hop between rocks with like, okay. with my goat hooves. So I will say that you're. You're you're doing more of like a parkour style wall run. Is that what you're trying to do? Uh, yeah, like just jumping yes. between handholds yeah. and footholds. Let's skip an So off, go yeah. ahead and make an acrobatics check. I think I'm good at those. Yes, sir. That's an 18. You successfully can move um, your normal movement. All right. Um, I Are will... you going to channel your inner powers to move additionally? I think so. I'm okay. going to spend the key point, and I'll move 90 feet up the cliff. You can get to him this round, then. All right. I'm going to get to him. Sorry, sir, but uh, it looks like you're trying to kill me. I don't appreciate that, and I'm going to punch him. Punch away. Uh, hold on. Sorry. That is some bad rolls. <laughs> That's a 12 and an 8. <laughs> you punch, punch. He rolls to the side um, with his claws, his hand claws, keeping him in place. That's a neat trick. He will be attacking you momentarily. No, I heard a um, spinning. I have That's a tie a between Occam and Winnie. Who has the higher plus dexterity? One. Plus three. Oh, Winnie gets to I go got first. got a plus three? Wow. In a flash, your monk friend is up there and just engaging with this large, fearsome creature. That is certainly something. Um, hmm. I'm gonna cast. Give me a second. Uh, can I tell looking at this creature how strong does it look? Strong, like okay. um, ogre, small giant, right. troll, double strong. This quickly, because I forget the range of it. So I'm gonna hold my action until it gets within. S Can I get within 60 feet of it? Um, I have 35 moves speed. You could get. You could go on. You could go 60 feet at ground level so that you're directly under it because it's still 60 feet above you. Yeah, yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move 30. And I'm gonna hold my action to cast Rave and Feeblement on it mm. when it gets within range, which will. It will need to make a con save. 30 foot range. Oh, okay. Well, then it will do that now. Somebody, somebody exit. <laughs> oh, wait. What is it making? Uh, it needs to make a con save. And what is the con save? Uh, I mean, your spell save DC. 14. It succeeds. Damn. Then nothing happens. Okay. Um, 
You you make the move. Oh, wait. Um, you get underneath it. You you cast this. I need no wait. I need to make a ranged spell attack. If I hit, it stays, and then it makes a con save on each of its turns. Got it. Um, that's gonna be an eighteen to hit it. That's a hit. Okay, so all strength based attacks are gonna be doing half damage until uh, this thing either succeeds a con save. Um, you know. So it succeeded on the con save, but, that's, but it's that still going to be. So you're saying I, on its turn on it its has turn. to do that? Yeah, sorry, okay. I, I missed red spell. Okay. All right, then we are now up to Occam. I'm on a cool. Now, this might sound a bit strange, perplexing even. Hmm. Um, if Occam were to have a, we'll say, a 30 foot running start, how far do you think he could throw his axe? A great axe? Yes. Um, that's a great question. I would say that if you have a normal thrown hand axe, and the throwing range is... I need to look it up. 6120? Is it? It sounds right. It might not be. I will know in just a moment. <laughs> Lots of book reading stuff. Hand axe, light, yep, yeah, 20 and 60. Okay. 20 and 60. So, yes, I would say you could do it with disadvantage because it's a great axe. And reckless attack is exclusively on melee attacks, correct? I think so. Reckless is melee attacks. Yes. So, yeah. um, okay, rage. You're stumped. Yeah, and postscript, do you also still have a dead goat slung over your I shoulders? I do, actually. That's, the dead goat. that's minorly important to know. I'm gonna grab it and shake it at the the, the creature. <laughs> In Leonin, I'm gonna yell at it. You can try to grab it. Um, the, the dead goat? Yep. It's not dead anymore. <laughs> he revived it. Oh, it's not dead anymore. So you, no. you go to grab it. That's yes. what you said you were gonna do. Make an athletics check. You're gonna do a, a, a opposed. You're gonna win, so you have it in a grapple. It is moving, flailing around, and trying to um, skewer you with its horns. Okay, I'm gonna. I have it in my hand, correct? Yep. Pick it up, slam it on the ground, take my great axe, and cut the head off. Done. Then I want to, with my second attack, attempt to disembowel the creature. I will no longer also be done. Destroying undead. <laughs> also Is it done. still flailing? Nope, not anymore. I think you made sure that it's dead, Alcum. That's a little extreme. He's gonna point at the creature because for talking to free action, point his axe at it. Try that again. You're next. Awesome, <laughs> because it is next. So now <laughs> I have to... end of your turn. At the end of his turn. Yes. So he's gonna do what he was gonna do to him. Yes. All right. Now we're gonna make an opposed athletics check. Okay. Cool. That one. Ooh, I'm giving no. uh, a whole on uh, silver rebarbs uh, disadvantage advantage. All right. Silver rebarbs. What's the range on silver rebarbs? Ooh, I think it's, it's, it's it should be sixty feet. Seventeen or a nineteen? So the seventeen was my original roll. The second uh, roll was a nineteen. Well, I still got lower, so yeah, you win. Yeah. So oh, that's a, that's a eleven. It's, it's at least not a nat one. So his first attack is a shove against you. That's fine. You well, do you have some kind of thing that helps you to not take damage from falling? Yes. Is it automatic? No, it's a reaction. Okay, you're gonna need to make that reaction, otherwise you are going to fall 60 feet. No, I mean I can prevent up to 25, 25 fall damage. So uh, I can't stop myself from falling. Okay. So, so I'll fall I... and you roll damage and I reduce it. Got it. Okay. Eighteen, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-four. 18, 23, 24, 24. So you prevent all of it? Mm-hmm. Uh, I will, as, I, as I'm falling, Florian's gonna hold his hands out, he's gonna use slow fall and just gonna gently drift to the ground. That's how that looks? Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, not as big Yeah. Well, he's okay. not done though. Oh, no. he, has, he has another move. He, he moves. 
seeing that that didn't have the impact that he wanted. He's moving directly down towards you. He's going to blow the rest of his, his action doing that. Um, and he will fail his con save. So Ooh. now he has disadvantaged all strength things? He, no. Any strength, okay. The way the spell works, if he hits with something that uses strength, which yeah. I'm guessing all the text, it does half the damage that it should. Wow, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> well nice. played. I don't know if I'm gonna take damage this fight. Thank you, Talos. Oh, and trust Daphne me, you're not. I'm gonna make him run away. For teaching me the ways of Grave Cleric. One well played. So, Mr. when does that damage have, by the way? Is that when he Lark, we're up he to you. Oh my so, God. if he does nine damage with a strength based <laughs> attack, he does four damage. It's Lark's five. turn. All right. Do I have any mugs in my pocket? Sure. I'm gonna say that one of them has hex on it. Okay. Okay. I move, I move, con? Move con, uh, move my hex to the goat man. Yes. He's now hexed with con, so it's a disadvantage on con saves. <laughs> okay. No, it's not saves, it's not saves, it's checks. It's uh, con checks. Yep. Contracts. Okay. Oof. All right. Um, that happens. Anything okay. else? Uh, yes. I will Eldritch Blast him in the face. Just to be clear, the hex range, do you have 60 feet? 60 feet. feet. Okay, 60 feet. then you're fine. You're gonna blast him, go ahead. Mm -hmm. That's a. Mm, so far, he hasn't taken any damage. He's just very debuffed. <laughs> very. Oh, trust debuffed. me. Just, just you wait. Oh, it's just you wait. Debuffing's fun. He's not yeah. debuffed enough. We, we love have using reckless attack, reckless attack on every single one of our attacks. Mm -hmm. We love okay. it. Why wouldn't you? Okay, that's exactly. a twelve to hit. If you're a tank, uh, no, you miss. Take damage. Okay. I get two. You do get two. Okay, that's a fourteen. Miss. <laughs> Uh, those okay. blasts fly over your shoulder, too, because he's down by you. All right, you have gone, which brings us at last to Sebastian. I can't believe I rolled a 17 and I'm last. <laughs> okay, uh, so this goat creature is right down by Lark? No, by, oh, Lark by is by you. Yeah, Sorry. by Winnie. Uh, I'm gonna, how far away is Winnie? 60 feet. 60 feet away from me. Yeesh. Okay, uh, I'm gonna run as far as I can, which is 30 feet, kind of diagonally. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna look at the creature, I'm gonna bring out my loot, and I'm gonna say, tales will be told of your demise, and I'm gonna Oof. use unsettling words. Oof. What and, is that? Uh, it's minus a d8 to its next saving throw, or check, which is, it's about to make, for dissonant whispers. <laughs> okay, so it's automatically going to get a d8. Minus to okay, its next Okay, so roll that. Throw. Okay. And it has to make a wisdom saving throw or take 3d6, and it has to run away from me. No. <laughs> Roll the damage. All righty. But did you, did you use this on a whispers? Yes. <laughs> we're nefarious. One, we're, we're not nefarious. seven, we're kind. and nine psychic damage, and Oof. it needs to use its uh, full action next time to run away from me as far as it can uh, without that, that it right. will without it, obviously getting itself into terrain that could hurt it. Like oh, five feet in one direction. It will try to. No, run. it will okay. run. I love my Boy Bay. All right, that brings us back around to the top of the order, Florian. Your all right. Um, so it moves closer, right? Yes. So how close is it you're, to me now? Well, I'm. A, I, I'm I, I was, suppose that you're like ten feet away, right? Because you didn't. You didn't. When you you um, slow falled, you just went. You would have gone vertically, not like diagonally. Oh, yeah. So you're basically close to where it's at and where Winnie I'm is. I'm ten feet away. Yeah, I will use my bonus action, and I will conjure my spectral arms, the giant Trent hands that appear next get to me. And he has to make a deck save. Get his ass. Make sure he can't get his coat. Let me see. His dex actually works, right? It's con and strength that have been <laughs> um, obliterated. Disabled. All right, what is what is he making the dex spell save DC all. against? He 14. is a 15. I will, okay, yeah, he succeeds. Okay. Yeah, nice one. So he succeeds on that. The, I do the burst of magic and he avoids it, and then I'm going to make two swings at him with my arms, which have a 10-foot range because they go in front of me. So you have reach. Yep. I'm rolling so bad today. That's a nat really one hard. and a 12. Uh, misses. You are just misses. not hitting anything today, man. All you're hitting is the air. All right, this brings us back around to Winnie. Some fighting vertically is hot. He's, he's oh, within range of you. This is true. Um, 
Let's see. I'm gonna cast Cold of Death. Wisdom save. And I did hurt it. He is not wise. Fail. That for him. She's that for him. Stupid little, little stupid, goat man. Stupid little goat man. Little meow meow. Our highest intelligence Whoa. is plus one. I rolled a 12 on the damage. So that's going to be um, 23 points of necrotic damage as the Taco Bell bomb rings through the air Dorm. and his ears are eviscerated. Yeah. Um, he he, he shrieks in this low. <laughs> like it's like a meh, but if you slowed it down to like. 10% audio. Sound the, effect that yeah, in. I yeah. Do that. In pain. It's it's mm-hmm. not happy about these circumstances. Yep. Um, all right, this brings us then to Occam. So he's still not close enough for me to actually get to him. However, Rar. I have several items. <laughs> um, I am going to use my entire movement uh, to run at the creature. Okay. You were there. Uh, how far away is it? 60 feet. Okay, 40, I only move 45 feet up. Oh. Um, and I'm going to take out my net. The best weapon in D&D, I actually. I love the weapon. I've used it before. <sighs> the net. All right. Okay. <laughs> we all love Reckless the attack. Well, no, it's, it's, a, it's a range attack, technically, because it's 15 feet away? Yes. Okay. My brother is that with Dex? Who used only nets. Um, yes. 16 to hit. It was Kevin. The net. The net. A large or smaller creature. Well, it is large, so technically this works. It is restrained until it is free. A net has no effect on creatures that are formless or creatures that are huge or larger. Nope. A creature can use this action to make a DC 10 strength check, freeing itself, which it has disadvantage on. <laughs> Wait, no. This don't don't have to say it. I thought it was Brave, like 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 oh, oh, right, yes. So Alright, so you, you, what was what? your roll to hit? Uh, 16. That's a hit. What do you even use? So, <laughs> so it's netted. Oh, it's restrained. Mm. Forgot about that spell. Take out my great axe. This is in common. It has to use its full movement. It can't it's run away! This is the movement. Who are you? Do you taste good? I don't think he talks. You know, can we talk to him? No. Well, can. give me we, we ten imagine. minutes and I can it's talk to, to him. Kill I can talk to him. The now. interesting no. thing is that to. immediately after you, it would go. Yes. The problem, however, is that it is restrained, and it also needs to run away. <laughs> <laughs> it's restrained. It, needs, it needs to run away, but mind you, it has a movement speed of zero, and it can't. It so. has disadvantage on deck saving throws, and I'm. <laughs> it's going to need to make a strength it saving throw, which it has. <laughs> it has this. Sorry, a strength on check. On it has to make on a two. strength strength. check, yeah. which it has disadvantage oh. on, to free itself from the net. Only a ten, though. You know, fellas, I'm starting to feel a bit bad. Right, we could so just we could just walk away. We couldn't do much. Eighteen or is eleven. So the six plus five is eleven. It it succeeds. It can break out of the net. With disadvantage? Yeah, I rolled. Yeah. yeah. DC, so, it's a DC 10. So it can high. break out of the net. Now it has to sp- has to spend its yes. speed running away yes. from you. From me specifically, which, which is why I position where you are close Winnie. to there. I position myself closer to Winnie so it would like run away from so them. It's going to have to run it. The only way to get away from you guys would be to run into the forest, away from the mountains. Also, it's opportunity attacks. From me. Opportunity attacks. From him and you. And is Occam not right next to him? No. Nah. He blew his 15 feet away. Um, all right. He does run so past me, though. It, it's going to run through the woods. You're going to make. I'm go ahead. Strike against it. That's, strike that's, not, against that's it. not the worst. That's not the worst. That's a 14. Um, 16. 16 hits, 14 doesn't. I have, I that's have all fine. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, use your horns. Use your horns. That's going to be four oh, horns damn. damage. Four points of damage. Horn. She has a chance to do no damage. I know, that's, that's oh. funny. No, no it's it. not. <laughs> Wait, as it Wait. runs by. Bonk. Wait, that's funnier because I didn't roll a one. Actually, I do zero damage. I bonk it on the head. No, <laughs> take the damage. It, it's funnier. So it runs. I guess it blows the rest of it. It has to run. Yes. It goes into the woods. Like, just 
angry and in pain and just. Where's the other goat? I'm gonna keep talking. Oh, the living one? one? Yeah, the living one. It's up on the up on the rocks, looking down, and it's like Where's the dead one. Chewing gonna... on on cud, and it's like meh, meh. I'm casting speak with animals. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm on the rocks. What the hell was that? <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm going you up. You believe it. I'm days. going up and Florian starts speaking fluent goat. Uh, hey, 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 friend. Where, how, what was that? What was that guy? I, I'm not, uh, he's, he's turning off his, his giant glowing arms and putting away his stick. Um, I'm, I'm just curious. Man, that was the herder. That's medicine. The I, herder. It herds. It herds. The it, herder. The herd. The herder. Huh. Herder. 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 Good, good talk. I'm gonna give it a rose <laughs> and, wa- and walk. To, I'm, I'm putting. It not, eats not a, the rose, and then okay. it goes back to eating. I'm, I'm walking. I'm walking back down the mountain. No, go get it. Get get the goat. Well, we already have one. The, the creature that you had caught is pretty much eviscerated, right? Yes. Like you, you, you know. Do so it, it seems like that corpse is completely it. dead. It's not twitching We anymore. can just eat that one. We can get one. Is it enough? We can give it a remote. For you, okay. maybe. Fine, no, I'll... Kick it. <laughs> <laughs> the go, the uh, rest in peace. Actually, so, Mr. Allen. Mountain. Who has Arcana? Oh, uh, <laughs> no one. I have a plus one. I have proficiency in animal handling. I have Arcana. What a bunch of stupid, stupid fools. Which is one above Arcana. <laughs> um, level one. I would say you can make an Arcana check. Alrighty. So oh. nice. Can I, can I make an Arcana check as the most intelligent member of this party with a 12? Sure. We both have the same bonus. We live in the woods. I'm smart about it. 17. Mm. You've never heard of a herder. Oh, Assuming I, that you explain yeah, what I, that. Yeah, I, I explain. I'm going to walk, like, I'm going to try to go above where the goat is. Okay. Can I make it there? You can. You want to make a climbing check? Yeah, sure. Sure, make an athletics check. Ooh, that's not the best. That's a 14. You are free climbing? Like, you don't have any ropes or gear? I do not. Yeah, you, you get like 20 feet up and then slip back down. Um, Mr. Allen, so through the many tales that I've heard, have I ever heard of one that is about said herder? Uh, history check for you, good. I would suppose. Good, good, good. How far away is the goat from me? 100 feet up. Oh, okay, I thought I, I thought it was like some decently up the cliff already, because I ran up to fight the herder, right? You no, ran up to fight ground. the herder, oh, right, and after yeah. the herder shoved you, the herder came down and charged her. My mistake. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is a 10 for the history. Mm, yeah, you've never heard of the herder. That will come in handy one day, trust me. All right, well, I can't get to the gold. He's all the way up there again. Let's just... All right, just leave it be. We can we find have, something else. Can, it it does can... occur to any of you with survival actual proficiency in survival. That's me. That there must be a means of scaling this part of the mountains and, and getting to an area where you could probably climb from there, though some kind of climbing gear would probably help. I already have it. Right, let's go I, I love looting corpses. Well, I, can, I think we can maybe go find All right. right. I got rope. You want to yeah. hop on? All right. All right, I I'm, I'm going to pick up these two who are right. significantly shorter than I am. No, I can, I can walk. You sure? I'm faster than you. Do you need a ride? Uh, I would prefer. Fly. Yes, I do. All right, hop on. I'll be giving you constant guidance for you. How much? Check. These guys are less than my push pull carry. Are you still very angry, i.e., enraged? Because uh, I would have, I would have taken damage or attacked. I would have ended. Okay. Well, I'm just constantly um, punching him. When he's like four feet tall. Florian's just very, like. He's very I do have climbing gear though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, which I, I will. If you want to take the time to use the climbing gear, you can climb up, set up the gear, and everyone can climb up. Oops, uh, shouldn't we be going around to try to find a better way up it, and then we can go up? Or just go over. Yeah, I think it'd be faster to try to, you know. Climbing makes a lot better exposition. Is there like a break between the yes. mountains and so the Yes, so just to be clear, this is, the, this is like in steps, you know what I mean? Like, so yeah. there's this initial kind of hundred foot 
you know, incline uh, up to a, a certain level. And then there's, I don't want to say paths, but you know, some, some kind of plateaus uh, where, you know, things grow and whatnot. And then there are other, you know, Elevations between the forest and the mountains that rise up. How much distance are we talking between like actual stone mountain and forest? So you guys have been in that open area since yeah. you emerged from the woods. About how wide? Is uh, that? Probably like a quarter mile between okay. between the woods and where you know the the, the sparse uh, wooded area, and then where the mountain begins to ascend is is probably about a quarter of a mile. You know, kind of scanning these steps, do I see any caves? Make a survival check. Anyone who wants to look for caves. I, I, I'm just going to follow this. I've been rolling very well. Tonight. 24. So, so you're very well you, with dice. Is you like, see. Uh, now this is 20. this is like yeah, same. well above where the goat mm -hmm. step is, but like further north from where you are, um, and at another elevation up. So probably like 200 feet up. Okay. You see kind of like a dark spot in this area of the mountains that you feel like maybe that could be where this cave entrance is. And had Vermont given any description of the cave other than that there were big creatures around it? Mm, no. No. This does, the herder was a big creature. It was a large creature. I say to go up I there. say we check out that cave over there. You know how when things are far away, it's sometimes yeah, yeah, difficult yeah. to judge their size or scale? Mm -hmm. That's the position you're in. You feel like if you got closer, you could get a better sense of this. I think it's absolutely worth checking it out. We have time. We what time of day is it? It's daytime. That's like it's, I'm gonna say like late right. morning. Okay. Also, That's fair. for flowers while we climb, because you said there were like places where things grow. Yes. That's just, you seem like a flower guy. I'm a flower guy. Let's just. I love flowers. I will let flowers you choose from while searching for flowers, since you kind of have the description and a sort of rough area. You can use either nature or survival to search for the flowers. Well, I'll use survival. I okay. love having both, however survival's better. That is a 21. These dice are rolling you, you spot, um, uh, am I assuming that you continue with the plan to climb up to the first elevation? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So you guys get up like the first 100 feet and you're kind of on what I'll call the goat plateau. And there's like moss and some grassy areas and scrub brush that kind of grows along this area. And, and the mountain kind of dips in and out, and there are certain parts that are a little more narrow, kind of ledges, and then there's other kind of open spaces. Uh, some of these areas like are, sh are kind of shadowed because of the facade of, of the rock, right? And, and so they kind of tend to be a little more mossy and, and less vegetated. Um, you, while looking up around this area, you see hanging out about 50 feet up from this first level, so about halfway between this first level and the second elevation where you saw the cave entrance, growing out of a crevasse in the rock. Do you enjoy my use of that awesome French word, a crevasse? Um, you, you see this blue slash indigo kind of colored flower, this bush, um, and it's, it matches the description of what Botano had scribed down for you guys in the notes. In character, Florian doesn't know the description, so he's gonna say to Winnie. Oh, I thought you guys showed him the- We did, yeah, we, we did. did. We did. Oh, did we? We did. He probably doesn't remember. Uh, <laughs> Winnie, we have a, there's a really nice flower up there. Oh yeah, that's one, that's one of the ones we need. Oh, oh um, okay. Uh, we need the roots though, so you can't just like pull the flower away. Mm. You gotta like. We can break stuff. I'm gonna mark, when we get to like the top of the step, I'm gonna walk over like 10 feet from where we climbed up. Um, how hard is this rock? Is this like, like um, limestone, marble? You no, know, it's like limestone. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is it soft enough to break my axe? Hmm. You would dull your axe if you did a lot of that. You could break some off though. If you we'll want, I can axe. just shatter. shatter. And I'm going to uh, take a mark off the rock. Okay. Uh, like a just like two incisions like that. Sure. Break it off. Um, hold on to it, um, kind of tie it next to that other rock that I have. Um, nothing too large, probably about the size of his, less than the size of his fist even. Um, but also just a way to keep track of where they've been. Okay. So we gotta go get 
Yeah. Yeah. From what from what I see, like around the flower, does it look like it's sort of breaking out of the rock? How difficult does it look to remove the roots? Um, it looks like if you maybe were like up there and kind of repelling. Is there only one? That's the only one you see. Um, if you were like up on its level and kind of like were secured with rope and and could use your hands, you could probably kind of like reach in further and maybe with some kind of a tool get to the root and, and extract it without ripping I it could, out. Uh, I could precision blast the rock. Perhaps. That seems oh, like not the best idea. I have an idea. Give me a if, second. If we, if we come up there again. again. With the goat, I'm going to properly uh, take care of the, the body. I'm going to move in trails and whatnot. I'm going to keep those uh, aside. You have proficiency in survival? Yes. All right. We'll say that you did that. Um, and just prepare it up, like tie it up and make sure it, it, we're not losing anything. Okay. Yeah, let's set up the cloud you, again. I'll say that you've like effectively gutted and drained it for the most part, but you're you're gonna have to like prepare do more soon. preservation I have a soon. Yes. Um so the meld into stone spell, can you move upwards with it, in your opinion? I've had it ruled both ways. Is it melding into stone or you, is it moving through stone? You, that you, is the you question. Can move through it. Can you have like a can you swim through it? Velocity? Um, I think you can have upwards velocity in this stone. <laughs> if we if we look at the you can, know can we set up time and I can just get through there and try to velocity times mass. I, I mean yeah, but yeah, and if we think about it, if you do meld in the stone. You're just walking straight, theoretically. If you can you go can, up, you, you can, can go also just up. start going yeah. down. You can go up, you can go down. Nope. No? You can use your movement to leave the stone where you entered it, oh. which ends the spell. You otherwise can't move. Mm. All right. Oh, we it can lose that spell. Oh, okay, different. never mind. Um, Ooh, I'm going to set up the climbing gear around in this kind of flower area. What kind of climbing gear is this? Is this like very rudimentary to like spikes that you nail into rock? Yes, so there are pitons, mm -hmm. there's a, a mallet, um, there's a, an extent of rope, uh, and there's a pulley with hooks. About how much rope? 180 feet of rope. Okay, and how far is this crevasse up? 50 feet. Perfect. Um, I am going to take my 50 foot grappling hook. Hey, who's belaying, Josh? Come on. <laughs> Gotta get him belaying. My 50 foot uh, grappling hook. I'm yeah. going to. Where is this flower in the crevasse? Is it, how big of a crevasse is it? The crevasse is maybe eight inches wide. Oh. And then it's like okay. 10 feet tall. Just get me near it. I can do the rest. I'm going it's to try. It's not too much of a danger if I fall. Like, just. Lob it up so it will stick partly in the um, sure in the very bottom of it. Yeah, and then someone lighter should probably climb up because I don't know if this will hold me. I get that. I can. All right, I can awesome. Do uh, I'm just gonna guidance. sit down and start Thank playing you. a nice little tune while this is happening. Roll a performance check. I I just want to see if any of the goats are entranced and any a performance come, check come you, you say. Oh no. Mm-hmm. One, that is a gonna be a big number. How do you have a calculator? Say twenty-two. <laughs> no, wait, what? Um, <laughs> what numbers you, did you just ask? My man the, with his team nice, plus seven. My man with his the, the very nice, um, the very nice tune that you start to play um, seems to have like a kind of a soothing vibe, and you you hear like meh meh, and you see the goat that was previously watching you guys, like it's still chewing on some grass and it sort of like comes over near you. It's it's still like 30 feet away, but it's like looking at you curiously. I'm climbing up. You're climbing up. Go ahead, make a, a roll. Is this athletics or acrobatics? Sure, it's athletics. Okay. Uh, with I, advantage, go ahead. With advantage. Yep. Because I'm not that strong, I will burn a key point and I will Summon the, the ghost arms to help me out here. She was like, to make this with wisdom. Uh, I also have guidance. I also got guidance. Oh my Maybe God. save that for the flowers, though. Maybe. I oh, will see what I get here. Uh, what's that? Right, I guess this is plus six. That's a 26, natural 20. Ooh. There you go. You, yeah. you grab that rope and just start like, you're like, this is a great day. And the sun's hitting the rocky wall, and you, you get up to the point where you see the the flower and you're just like holding the rope 
in one hand and you're kind of like, you've got your feet firmly planted and you see this pretty kind of indigo flower and the stem of it goes into the crevasse. Can I, cause I got a natural 20 as I'm going up, I'm gonna try to like do a little duet with Sebastian on my pan pipes. <laughs> Uh, and then, sure, not, I mean, not, if you have, like, like spirit, just, nature, arms... Yeah, the spirit, the nature, arms are climbing, and I got my normal arms. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I get to the crevasse. Yeah. All right. Um, are you actually going to sing or perform with it's an just, instrument? It's just the instrument. Just the flute? Yeah. Make a performance. Performance, okay. Just for the heck of it. Uh, I'm and through, like through the tune, you feel inspired. That's a 16. Yeah, you don't need it. You... I'll you begin, the the flower. Flower. even from 50 feet away, you're, you're like synced up and you're kind of like picking up on different harmonies and adding this little flourish to, to the, uh, the already entrancing performance. Um, as you are up there and you're looking at the blue flower, make a dexterity save. Oh, I... <laughs> the flower punches you. The flower. <laughs> that is a 19. Plants versus oh. forest. Plants versus forest. You spores. lost. Whoa. No. Uh, did you use the inspiration? Oh wait, can I use that on saves? Yes. I'll yes. use the inspiration on saves. Okay. So that plus is six. uh so it was it was nineteen out to twenty-five. Alright, the twenty-five makes, so you're only gonna take half damage. Ooh. From who? <laughs> from oh, the goat man. The it's wall. more of a from what? The wall. I, be, I, I bet it's the wall. It's from it's so the element. Twenty eight uh divided by two is fourteen. So <laughs> this uh, as you're like looking at the pretty flower, this weird uh, pseudopod sort of like tendril shoots out from the crevasse and it's it's covered in spikes. Um, it, it basically tries to wrap itself around you and you like pull yourself away, but some of the spikes kind of shred you, so you take some damage. As we have a problem. Um, it's time for initiative, everyone. Oh, the music stops. Not again. Oh, more combat. More combat. We oh, love no. our combat. I haven't got, oh, I'm not gonna use. Okay. Is this tendril coming from cool. the crevasse? Yes. Okay. Who's I got a. I use to break I the mind, encounter? I'm sorry, I'm allergic right. to not use one set of my dice because I've rolled three nat 20s in a row. Huh? No, you should um, keep using them. You should keep using them. Initiative um, is a 14. Can I use them? No. <laughs> All right, uh, Lark, initiative. Uh, 17. Sebastian? Five. Uh-oh. Did, did, well, did we get a short rest? I was too no. busy focusing oh. on my music. Sure, no. that's, um, that's sure. and, and what about you? Oh, I got a uh, 19. Okay, good. Because that just happened. You're top of the order. This thing is like flailing around with its spikes on the tendril. All right. So I pulled, I pushed myself away from the crevasse, right? Yes. I got hit by the spike. You're still so, holding on to the rope yeah, yeah. with your ghost hand arms? Yes. Okay. And do I see what this is things do you have attached dark to? No. No. Something inside of that crevasse just shot out this weird. Is whipping. the pseudopod still out? Yes. It's okay. whipping around but trying to hit. find you and wait, hurt wait. you. There when you were saying gross, it's not gonna crack, there's like a cave next to the flower? It's, it's um, in a cave. It's like a vertical cave. Imagine like a rock. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, I'm switching. Uh, I'm gonna like put my hands on the rope. Your my normal human hand, hands. My normal yeah. Seda hands. And okay. My ghost hands are gonna reach out. They have 10 foot range. Yes. They're gonna try to pull the thing out of the crevasse. Ooh. All right. Uh, that would no, be a ghost shatter. hand grapple check, I guess. Uh, yeah, right? like, yeah. Because you're trying to so, grapple it and pull it out. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and do that. Do still have still guidance. have guidance. Uh, better use it, better use it. Better use is that with your wisdom or how do it's you? It's with my wisdom. It's with wisdom. Um, so it's an opposed it, check. Yeah, you you get to roll. It's, a, it's, a, it's this is athletic, so it's yep. just okay. Um, ten. No, oh. not even close. Ooh. I rolled a three. The ghost hands grab it, and it's it's just slithering back and forth and whipping right. around. They wouldn't take damage though because they're ghost hands. Uh, correct. Okay. And so the you can replace attacks with grapples, right? Right. So I'm gonna try to do that again. Yes, uh, have some. That's one better, but uh, not not actually because I don't have guidance. So that's also a ten. Um, no. bonus action. Wait, wait, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Is it within sixty feet of me? Because I'd be playing little ditty. Um, you said fifty feet away. He was fifty feet up, up from you. 
I'm going to assume that you're not an idiot and standing like Directly. right underneath where the rope and he oh, was. Yeah. So no. Okay. It, it's you're a little bit away it's from that spot. Bonus action. I, I try. I try. Unfortunately, I cannot make my random unarmed strikes a grapple. I don't think so. I'll just punch it. Are you grappled? Huh? Are you grappled? Punch the tendril and no, miss. He, he's and not I got. It's, I rolled two threes and a four. I'm oh doing great. I'm doing Your dice are rolling terrible. They, they were All good. right, I'll, I'll win. You, you want me to read? Oh, I'm boy. switching out my um, dice. Would you like a try at the metal? Nah. You see this oh, weird metal, but um, pseudopod oh. with spikes on it, like like thorns almost, um, whipping around up up by Florian, up by the crevasse. Right. Oh, no, I'm going to take out my fine. short bow. I'm going to aim it like this, but I'm going to cast guiding bolt through it. Ooh. Um, Interesting. I'm going to do this at second level. Why not? Um, so that's going to be an 18 to hit. That hits. What is the damage and the type of damage? It's going to be radiant damage. My favorite kind of damage. Okay. He needs to fire with this thing. Good burn flower. Good burn flower. Keep that one. That one was. Who's the king? Twenty-two points of radiant damage. Oof. When he takes out it, a it, little, it vibrates yeah. like it undulates, almost as if to represent the pain and suffering that it yeah. is it experienced. Profound. Yes. Profound. Um, you're. That's it. Bonus action. I cast. Fuck you. Uh, who's next? Okay. <laughs> Lark, you're up. Yes. Okay. I, uh, I cast a hex on the tendril. I don't have a bug, so it's not prepared, so that's my spell action. Okay. Do strength, do strength, do strength. Yeah, strength. Yeah. So, are you gonna like throw the hex? No. Very well. Because that's my turn. That, that is your turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. I cast a vegetarian? Ooh, 16. Uh, hit. Uh, that's a miss. That's, no, that's a me to beat it. Never mind. Okay. Okay. And a 21. So really don't care. Yep. Alright, so yeah. first one. These wouldn't happen to be projectiles, would they? No. Damn. You have advantage on the next attack, whoever hits them. I think so it could be this that guy. Include grapples? No. So 12 for the first one, 14 for the second one. And you need to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, that's probably good. That's not natural 20. You succeed. And you said I took a total of 26 damage? Yes. I'm not looking hot. I don't um, have any yeah, healing spells. Nice. Make, well, what's your, yeah, make a perception check. I, 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 I think you would have an opportunity to see this. They wouldn't. Uh, perception, that's a 19. You notice that there's a weird sort of milky white substance coming from the tips of some of the pokey, spiky things on the tendril. I'm. It's got some weird stuff. Um, moving on, it is Occam's turn. 50 feet up? Yeah. Are you going to throw your great axe with disadvantage? Because if you do and you roll a one, it's totally going to hit Harris. I just want you to, <laughs> Harris to know the plant? from a meta right, perspective. Um, <laughs> I'm at 10 hits. Jesus! No. Do it, do Wait, it, do it. No, I'm actually Josh, going to Josh, Josh. Uh, take out both of my hand no, axes. It's uh. a missile. It is no. a missile. That's a good point. <laughs> no. Yes. I am taking out a hand axe and my great axe. Okay. <laughs> Two attacks. Um, I'm not raging yet because I don't need so to. So just to be clear, you're whipping a hand axe and then you're whipping your great axe. I'm like, okay, so I'm running up. I'm going to like underhand a hand axe up towards it and then with the like over the body swinging around the head. Okay. Just so like a discus thrower yes. almost, where you're gonna do a whip and spin and then All right, let's do the hand axe roll first. Okay. That is going to be a 12. No, it misses, but it doesn't hit him. All right, oh. now the great axe. Disadvantage. Disadvantage. <laughs> Use reckless attack. Oh, it's mainly all it is. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be with dexterity. What about strength? It does I, take I, quite a I, bit I'm of using strength. My entire body. It's a strength base. As okay, sure. Discus, awesome. That's going to be it. someone who did this. Okay, yeah, that I was a uh, yeah. 14. Okay. 15. 15. Okay. 
very uh, to hit. Does that hit? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Better than anything I'm rolling. Nice. Three, D, four. Oh, that's nice. That is going to be I totally eight. forgot it's 3D4. It's so nice. <laughs> it's so nice. 10 slashing. 10 slashing damage. And I will use the Ouch. rest of my movement to climb the rope. Guys, okay. I totally forgot I have stun and strike. <laughs> <laughs> this brings us at last to Sebastian. Okay, I've got a really good question. Uh, is, is the great axe stuck in the uh, pseudopod now? No. No? It, it hit it, it cut it. Oh, damn. You would notice this, and you would definitely notice it. When it cuts, when the great axe slices into the, uh, the, the tendril, it, the milky, it's not blood. It, it emits like that same milky stuff mm -hmm. comes out of the, the, the flesh of the tendril. It doesn't happen to have any metal on it, does it? No. Where is my great uh, axe currently? Is it it's, like stuck It's like in clinging the down the mountain uh, about 30 feet away from you. I'll go get it later, it's fine. It's yeah. fine. All right. So what I'm gonna do, it's a bit of a dark area, yeah. That no. we're trying to get it on. Oh, inside the crevasse? Yeah. Yes. I'm going to move a bit closer to where, like, I'm... But you so realize I'm... that it's 50 feet above you, so you can't, unless you're at, like, where he is, you can't see into the crevasse. Like, okay, well, can I see, like, the opening? You could see the opening. You could see where this thing is coming from, whipping around. Okay. And you see the flower. The flower is still there. Am I able... Okay, so the, this is me asking this here. Am yes. I able to cast light on a dagger and throw it up there? Not sure. aiming to hit the thing, but yes, just trying but, to get but it But you're up saying, there. like, to throw the dagger into the crevasse with the, the light cantrip on yes. it to light up the crevasse. I would say that's just a normal attack roll. Uh, just, like, get a 10 or higher on your throw. Gotcha. That should be easy. So, right? Light. You would think. That should be easy. And it's, I'm literally one fucking away. It's a nine. Wow. How is that possible? All right. Man, so you're, here's what happens, though. Wait. If it's not actually, because I have proficiency in daggers. <laughs> I okay. forgot. That is a 12. Okay. So you, you get, so, ching, 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 ching. You, you see a dagger whip past you. Ah. And, and it's bright. And now you could see inside the crevasse. And what you see is mildly terrifying. You, you effectively see scared. what looks like an extremely large head of cauliflower, uh, like white, bulbous sort of tumors um, undulating inside of this thing. And it doesn't seem to like the light that is currently affecting it. Um, and there's a huge mouth with like rows of like these same kind of spiky needles. And it's like, just incess incessantly like chomping up and down and the tendrils coming out from the cauliflower bulb of its body and whipping around trying to grab you. So that is, is now in? what you see. What? How far deep is that into the You, crevasse? you no, don't know this. Uh, he I'm, does. Yeah. Huh. How far did I climb up by the rope, by the way? Um, after all the shenanigans yes. that you pulled, I'll say 15. Uh, what's, what's half your movement? My movement is 20. 20. Yeah. yeah. So you're about 20 feet up. <laughs> okay. So you see that this thing, the, the, the crevasse goes into the mountain. Like where like, his dagger with the light cantrip like deep? claimed, it's like at the bottom of where the crevasse sits, right? So like this, you know, this is his dagger. Yeah, how far is the, the giant tail? Into mouth. the mountain, you, it goes for as far as you could see the 30 feet. Uh, this crevasse goes into the mountain. I mean like just where is the creature? It's like five feet in from you. Okay. Uh, it's my turn? Um, yes, because it's the top of the order. All Sebastian right. was the last one, so it's your turn. Oh, did you fart a in there? No. Okay. Uh, how far away is the, uh, the flower from me? Also five feet. Okay, perfect. You see where the flower is growing from now? Do I see its roots? You, you see the roots. The roots are like a three, there's like a three little white root things that are embedded into the limestone. And that's what is the flowers growing out of. You feel like if Do you they, made, are they like tightly put put in there? Or can uh, I try to snatch them? You could try to snatch it. I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have you make a dex based nature roll. How's that sound? Uh, 
You're this... basically going to like quick snatch and harvest. Okay. Like you're pulling a weed without snapping it off, right? You're trying Dex to get Dex based nature is better than normal nature for I'll me. Give so I'll give you Dex based nature. All right. Um, do I have proficiency in nature? I don't know. Do you I know? don't. All right. So then it's just make the roll and add your Dex bonus. You can do uh, this, buddy. I'm doing this with my ghost arms. Uh, that doesn't mean anything, but. Hey, that's not a terrible. That's, that's a 13. Do you succeed? Okay, I'm snatching. The ghost arm goes and like grabs this and just slowly pulls it, and then you see, you see there's like some crumbling from the limestone mm -hmm. where it's kind of soft, and and it pulls three three root pieces out with the whole plant. Got it. So I'm you gonna... have it in the ghost arm. Okay. Um, does that kind of as like some sort of attack for the purpose of extra attack? It counted as your action. All right. Um, you can still conduct an extra attack, I suppose. As okay, using, uh, yeah, sure, I'll do that. Uh, that is an 18. You're actually gonna hit this time. You hit the tendril. Okay. Wow. What happened? And what damage type is this? By Force. The way? I'm using the other ghost hand because I'm that's, clinging to the rope with that's my normal smart, hands. Because otherwise you'd be making another saving throw. Um, How much? It'll take seven force damage. Okay. You and Oh, oh, yeah, because it's yeah, the first it time it's being hit, huh? No, it's worse. Okay. Um, so seven force. And then oh that thing is going to have to make a saving throw, a constitution uh, saving throw, as I spend one key point. I rolled an 18, so yes. All right, yeah, it succeeds. I just attempt to use stun and strike, and it does not work. I'm going to begin sliding down the rope. <laughs> How many of your monkey points do you have left? Two. I get him back in oh, short rest Bad monkey. Bad monkey, monkey. Bad oh. monkey. no. Okay, oh. it is now the turn of Winifred. Actually, how far how far do I go down the cliff if I start sliding? What's your slow fall? Uh, I mean, I'm just sliding on the rope. Oh, um, I would say since you're 30. 30? Yeah. Okay, and then that means I'm 70 from the ground? Or is this 50 no, feet No, you're only up? 20 feet from the ground. Okay, I cast Misty oh, so Step and go to the ground. Directly on top of me? Yeah, so basically you're Nine you're shoulders. sliding down as he's going up the rope. Oh, yeah, I'm going to... How far? If he's like 20 feet up. 20 feet up. Yeah, I get to him and then I Misty Step past him. And I'm on the Whoa. ground now. Oh. I bonus got the roots, we're fine. Bonus action, Misty Step. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. You You have the root, you make it down to the plateau. You see him passing you, and it's your turn. Mm. Well, you're getting down, and you're... Can we leave? We should just yeah, set up the just... climbing gear a little to the other side well, so I can't reach out yeah, and get us. Yeah. I'm just going to tell the dad when it's safe in the plant. You know, just make sure, you know. No. It failed its wisdom save. Mm. The plant failed its wisdom save? D12. I could mm. name this the wallflower. Waller. It had a really big mouth. Thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, oh, no, I did lose my okay. dagger. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have grabbed that. Go. Oh, no, got you. Got uh, I, it, it again pulsates back and forth, I whipping, and it that. starts to recoil into the go. crevasse. When he's going to be, at some point during camp, casting gentle repose on like a couple of the plants that they don't decay and die. So they're, they're good, good use of the spell. So are we out of combat then? No. Oh, no? Uh, oh. It's your turn. We haven't okay. ran yet. Um, I'm already not, like, on the mountain, I don't think. You're on the plateau here, where they are. Not, like, in, up on a rubber. You're on a flat part. Cool. Yeah. Um, I will you see the tendril retreating into its crevasse. I will prepare an action. If I see another tendril come out of the crevasse, I'm casting Eldritch Blast. All right. Duly noted. <laughs> the, the dagger with the light cantrip goes ting 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 like it's it's been shooed out of the crevasse <laughs> <laughs> and it, yeah. it ting 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 tings down and falls at your feet oh I wow would you look at that plot convenience i'm gonna we bend down and pick up the dagger i don't think we, we need to fight it right now yeah, no. we can just all right yeah i'm just gonna pull this out of the wall i'm things. pretty hurt yeah, oh, that's shit, not yeah. good. Also, I, I think, if you descend, wait, no, no, your axe no, no, is like thirty feet no, away. We, I think we can just, uh, you know, take take a take a breather right here on this plateau. Yeah, listen, do you, uh, do you want to take a longer rest or just like a I short? A short, a short rest. Get about half half a short rest. And try to like jostle okay. the grappling oh. hook out. Yeah, a short rest. Oh, okay. Uh, and then get down. 
Yeah. Well, they rested. Well, they rested. Is it dented? It, it's a, a, it's a little bit. I'll say the blade's a little bit chipped, but okay. it's still serviceable. I need to look at well, they rested. When we go back into town, there's several things that I need to figure so out. So we are we are taking a short rest then. Oh. Yes. What are you figure out? Uh, I need a new axe. So quick question. Prior to your short rest, I just need to clarify a couple things. Is anyone taking a short rest? directly below the crevasse. No. no. We're not idiots. Okay. Uh, well, we are. We are, but we're not idiots. Short rest not like yes. it involves a few of the rocks that I've been picking up and a few other things. We're like, dumb, okay. but we're not stupid. We are out of initiative. Oh, I will go around and inquire about your short rest activities. So uh, we'll start with Occam. Go ahead. Um, I'm going to make sure that the goat is preserved at least somewhat. He's going to. You could spend the short rest cooking that goat meat, salting that goat meat. Uh, yeah, that's it. You don't have enough time to do a full smoking yeah. of the goat meat. And I wouldn't be able to do anything else then, correct? You would just be obtaining short rest benefits. Hmm. Alternatively, um, another thing I was Aka might want to do is he is going to try to begin carving a few things with the rocks he's been collecting, uh, particularly okay. the shard of the elemental and this limestone. Okay. Um, Occam's lived a lot in the forest. Are there any, like, druidic runes he would maybe recognize and have no meaning of? Um, yes. I mean, there are, there are specific kind of, like, totem runes mm -hmm. that, that he knows that are kind of geared specifically towards Leonin. Yeah. Um, he's going to carve... Is there one for, like, resilience or... Yes. He'll put that one into the elemental. Um, and then to the limestone, he'll put... I don't, let me ask a question of clarification because I don't have this book with me. Do Leonin have their own language? They do, yes, Leonin. Mm -hmm. All right, so, yes. So we'll say that all the runes that he is familiar with are are part of that. Yeah, okay. Um, you'll put like a, something for like, uh, yeah, certainly like resilience or like uh, unfailing onto the elemental shard. Okay. And then, um, For the limestone, he's probably going to just keep that for now and work on cutting up the uh, the goat. Okay. You enjoy some rest while doing that. Um, Sebastian. Uh, I will be probably just sitting right back down where he originally sat while they were setting their stuff up. It seems like a great spot. It's right in the sun. It's dry. It's fairly clean. There's a goat who doesn't seem to be terrified of you guys. I'm going to sort of set out two candles next to me, light them up, and uh, bring my loot out and start playing a little song. And for that implication, oh, Song yes. of Rest. Hey. Oh. Hey, yo. The Song of Rest. Who I uses share with Song our, of Rest? Share with our audience the benefits of the Song of Rest. Wow, that's something I need to know as well. 1d6. So yeah, it's oh, 1d6 right now, but at a short rest, you can uh, regain an extra one of my d6 for your hit die. Yeah. Nice. Really nice. Uh, uh, to so anyone well. applying hit die, uh, you can go ahead and roll for that during your um, your short rest downtime. I drained the blood of the goat. I'd like to keep that into a water skin as well. Do you have an extra water skin? I do. Oh, from the dead man. Yeah, from the dead guy. Ah, I have I have a full box of, of stuff right there. Oh All right, <laughs> you <laughs> you can save this. You understand and you know this that there this will coagulate eventually. Yes. Okay. All right, you boy. you put it into the skin of the dead man. Um, this then brings us to Florian. Uh, so he's gonna take a take a squat over on next to Sebastian. Uh, he's gonna start telling him the details about what the guy the creature looks like because he knows Sebastian probably wants to write something for this, mm. and he's gonna be basket weaving. Okay, weaving the baskets. And I'm gonna spend my hit dice. Excellent. Well spent. Um, and Winnie, what, what's uh, happening over there? Winnie is going to look out at the view, I'm guessing, that is from... It's actually area. a beautiful view. Yeah. You, you see the, the sort of sparse open land between the, the dense forest and the mountains, mm -hmm. uh, like kind of hilly, but then you, you see 
the valley below you and, and the forest and the thick canopy mm -hmm. um, and, and realizing that you've spent the last couple days in that, uh, it's a very different perspective. Um, you, you actually see like birds and stuff and you know a lot of examples of nature. He's going to take out from kind of a very small bag that she keeps at her side a wind chime, a very small little wind chime with like little copper pieces on it. He's going to find a, like something to hang it on on this cliff. Okay. She can set yeah, up. there's plenty of like outcroppings of the rock and stuff that you could tack it to. She's going to put a little circle of stones around it and she's going to go sit by the fire or something with other people. Okay. Uh, I, have a, I have a question for you two actually. Well, uh, we're here. Mm -hmm. um, can you use bells to do any kind of like magic stuff? Mm, me as well. I mean, I, I guess know. I. I mean, yes. I mean, I'm, I could. I might know something to do with them, but I, I have a few. If you, someone. Oh, you have them. you have bells. I like them. Yeah, I I, four bronze bells. I want them. How big are these bells? I, I, these are lost a little bit off. They're, the dead they're guy. relatively small. Mm -hmm. Like you feel like they might have multiple potential purposes, but I don't think Akam would know. Oh, can I roll and? Do you have religion? Religion? Uh, I don't believe so. Then no. you're not. You would just assume that they're for like, you know, setting like trip wires and alarms, that kind of stuff. Would I know anything like druidic magic wise? Bells? That involves bells? No. Okay. Yeah, you can have the bells. I'm still not at full health. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's fine. I'm a, I'm a 42 out of 50. Okay. It's hypothetical. Um, you have religion though, don't uh, you? No. No. Ah. <laughs> Well, None of us religions, what about? Uh, you can make a roll. Go ahead, make a religion roll. You said stories. Oh, I've heard stories. Right. Heard, like, You've seen things and heard I've, things. I've heard a lot of things, actually. When you, when you mean religion, religion, what kind of religion? You mean like paganism? I'm, I mean paganism. the actual proficiency. Um, like I have general a knowledge. Uh, 14 <laughs> roll for religion. Okay, so you notice that these bells are being exchanged, right? And you hadn't previously shown these yeah. before. You're you're pretty familiar with what those bells are for. Um, there are, there are different sort of religious rituals, but um, those are bells to protect people from Sincaron, the god of death. Oh, hey. I'm gonna like pause my little ditty for that's a second. What, that's what the oracle was talking about. Listen, right? hold on. I haven't said it yet. Um, those bells, by the way, those are meant to be protectors against um, the god of death. Mm -hmm. So, the the one in the city. Yeah. Keep them. Mm -hmm. Keep them. No, I, I don't want them. That's that's what the oracle is. You so keep them. I don't. They'll give you all the bells. Okay, yeah, I just I want the yeah, bells. I mean, I don't really know. I I mean, people talk about religion a lot. I don't really get it very much. Which is odd because then they say I'm blessed by the gods. I don't think I am, but no. we. Mm. How much project? How much oh, progress do I get in the basket? Hmm? Uh, in a short that. rest. Yeah, in a short rest. You okay. now have like the the base and the lip, and you're now a third of the way up on the the walls of the basket. I'm close. Yeah, it's like a slightly taller dice tray. Yeah. Wow. Let's go. You're getting there. Back All right, Diddy. um, Lark. Yes. What do you do during short rest times? Um, I'm going to recover my spells and mm. warlock, warlock moments. <laughs> warlock because moment. warlocks. <laughs> uh, and start whittling like a chunk of wood. Any particular design that you're doing with this chunk yes, of wood? Yes, but I'm not going to say. Okay. Hmm. All right. Uh, a short time later. Um, you guys find yourselves feeling a little more rested, recuperated, comfortable, slightly less anxious, and uh, facing another hundred foot climb. I've just realized that if you wanted trap. to go up to the or towards Very that true. that Ooh. second so level where there was a large trap? cave. So I was thinking that a lot of I have a, I have a comical amount of things. So you know, you know that that I, I was telling I was telling uh, Sebastian about mm -hmm. this. I don't know if you heard, but. That weird thing in the thing, yeah. the thing had like white liquid coming out of its spikes. I think that was poison. Not certain. Did you mouth. taste it? No. 
If he thinks it was poison, why would it taste ground? I should have tasted. found out it's poison. Is there any on the ground remaining? Yeah, I probably excreted um, some. There, there might be some <laughs> splattered <laughs> around say that about by the white where stuff. the crevasse is, <laughs> but <laughs> nothing that made its uh, way okay. down here. I, I should have tasted it. You're right. Uh, oh, wait a minute. No, it's, on it's on your axe. It is on your axe. I described that. It's on your axe. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Hold on. It, it would have been. Pretty yeah. dried by yeah, now, yeah. but you can, you can. There is a sample <laughs> on your axe. I so totally I was, forgot I was about that. Do you do? How long will it speak of the animals lasts? Um, ten. Okay. If we still want to climb up there, right? Okay, maybe you try the poison like before we go to bed. All right, yeah. How think, about we don't, anyways? I, I think we should. Just strange. I would How love. Funny. To, I, I, was, I think, I think the poison is pretty, pretty cool. Anyway. So Let's go find Vermont. We gotta he, he's, go. Here's what I'm. Here's what, closer. To, oh, sorry. What here's, here's what I'm thinking, right? We gotta go up that cliff. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. There's a weird plant thing in the way. Just yeah. go on the other side of it. That's true. Or, or it's coming up, right? And it's trying to attack something. Mm -hmm. We throw bear traps at it. I think I have I one like too. This. Now that I think about it. I like that. Okay. How many of us have bear? Okay. <laughs> let listen. So it seems we have come to a conclusion. <laughs> it doesn't like life. See, why do you see it the also, humans? The humans don't like have life. bear traps. Is this a human thing? You guys are weird. Why don't you carry bear traps with yeah, you yeah, everywhere you go, along with three different bags I actually containing got, several different I traveling actually got, supplies, this, this, <laughs> including money from towns you've ever been to? I am a bear trap. You stole those. Actually, uh, no, it's mine. Is that, I, I is found a, it, and it was dead, so it's mine. Well, it's a funny uh, story I'm sorry, I don't this. have the pastime hobby of looting corpses. <laughs> no, I didn't get it from a corpse. It's not a corpse I'm if it's them. it's a corpse if it's dead, but if it's not a corpse if it stands up and attacks you, then it's a zombie, and then you are you are required. I'm dead by to Stratos Code to loot it. Okay, changing my story. You're using quite the large grave digger. words for men of your stature. Hey, he's trying his best. Come Thank on. Thank you. So I, there's a funny story behind this. You know, oh, is there? I got trapped in. <laughs> <laughs> Can I look under his legs? My legs fine. It was a while ago. I've been in the forest for I some years. I purchased it for not a bear, but Lana never got used. I was, to it. So I was, I, I was. Had a, one. It's actually. I was running from a bear. Were. And I got trapped in a bear trap. That's. I saw them. I saw them on the way into the forest. Oh. That's very funny. I wonder why That's they call them bear traps. I thought it was a hat. Your worm made fall. By bears. Oh, shoot. The, the goat's still there. Ah. I, oh, I yeah. look at it still and I and I open the bear trap. <laughs> I'm going to. No, listen. It, it, it backs up. This goat has been a fine customer. Now think about this. If you keep your bear trap, then we all have bear traps. We can use them all at the same time on a That's later true. occasion. That's true. That's true. Like, like, like there's the supposed to be big things around this cave. Yeah. So if we if we if we put all of them on a string, and then like I swing it around oh. my head. And if something walks it. into it, so you want me to reset it gets this hit. One? Yeah. yeah reset, okay, reset. I will put it on the ground and throw rocks at it until it triggers. <laughs> it triggers. You, right. so, Immediately. Okay. I will put it back in my bag. Listen, we, you do realize how unsafe that is. Oh, yes. Because you're, you're swinging it around, there's a possibility one might hit your head and it might activate no, it on your head. Just as fine. you guys, as you are discussing this brilliant strategy, <laughs> <laughs> I think from we are a, from above, and I'm not talking 50 feet. I'm so talking about remember I said that mm -hmm. that second level. Is he from back? above, you see you see a small um, like head appear, like just over the cliff, looking down. I'm preparing. And you see <laughs> you see huge moon shaped <gasps> eyes appear over, and you hear like. <laughs> To pick up the, the goat and And then you see Vermont. you see a hand with, with little fingers, and then another hand, and then another one, and another one. And then the face creeps up just to look over. Hi, Vermont. And you see the eyes, um, because it's a nocturnal animal, the, the poor irises are like tiny little pinpoints, and it's like squinting in the bright like noon, let's say it's like 1 p.m., in the bright afternoon light of it's the mountain. Bit. I and unprepare it, it, shatter. It, it does another, it does another like <laughs> And it, it, two of its hands flee up and literally it just mimics what you do. Like you're like and, it's a, and the other two hands are holding onto this 
thing and it's looking down at you guys. And like I said it's about like a hundred feet up on that next level. <laughs> Sort of in the direction of when you guys were down in it at that other angle where you saw that large dark cave, cave opening. Dad, are you good? <laughs> <Ca -ca! laughs> oh, no! Do you make that happen? No. Oh, I was like, oh, no! He <laughs> um, would kill you. A bird. <laughs> Lark I mean, Lark it would be hilarious if you had a familiar that did that. Lark but... would live, Cat would not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but as you guys, with, with elation, see the creature that you assume no. to be Vermont, and not just some other random specter who's out in daylight, which God, also is not a thing that commonly would happen. Um, as you see that, and you see it, it's happy little like arm throw up, and as it sort of mimics um, Occam, you, you guys see something else like sort of behind it and it's a much much bigger head and you see the head of an ogre look over its shoulder down at you guys did he prefer an ogre and the ogre has two big boulders in its hands and it looks down at you guys and your your friend vermont doesn't seem to notice what's right behind it but the ogre sees you guys are these missiles you wave to the ogre and the ogre goes Oops. And that's where we'll end this episode of oh, oh, right. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed that cliffhanger. Badoom cha. Really Thanks as always for watching, for liking and subscribing and tune in to the next episode where we'll find out how well this uh, well-trained party fights against ogres. Strength Cheers, against peace ogre. out, love you, bye. Pretty shiny. Well, I did not have time for the full shame, uh, shave and buff. So Sorry, bitch. you got what you got. Okay. Well, hello and welcome to Bill Allen World. I am Wizzy the Wizard. I'm back once again to remind you to subscribe and click on the notifications button and also watch videos that are over there. Tune in to the next episode of whatever show you were just watching and watch other shows featuring Bill. He made me say that because he's a narcissist. Okay, bye.